Good day, Flight Sim Crew. This is your pilot in command, Ryan, with another uh, model review video here for the F-22 Raptor. Uh, this is a community um, community built model from um, available in the Microsoft Marketplace, but it's not it's not been made by Microsoft. And uh, we're just going to do a quick review of this aircraft. You've probably seen me fly it in other videos. It is one that I very much enjoy um, flying just when I want to have a little, little time just doing a joy flight. So uh, without further ado, we're going to hop, hop into it. So right out of the gate here, uh, the F-22 Raptor first entered service in December of 2005. As you can hear, it uh, <laughs> it has two Pratt Whitley, Whitley engines. And I'm not sure if you're going to be able to hear me over that sound. But the max speed of the F-22 Raptor is listed at 948 knots that is with afterburners engaged uh, the cruise speed is 600 knots max altitude is, is 45,000 feet and the range is 2,165 nautical miles and apparently it can it can hold 860 fuel um I, i'm assuming that's in pounds not in in gallons but i will double check that All right, so parking brake off. No need for a checklist here. Yeah, we're not really going to be using much VFR today. We have been clear to take off. And just to pop through our checklist real quick. There's nothing in there. So a couple critiques right right out of the gate. Um, the lack of a checklist by the developer uh, leaves something to be desired. Additionally, you may notice, let me go to an external view. The aircraft absolutely looks phenomenal from outside. You can see, you know, very well modeled, you know, just very impressive in terms of its appearance and just the attention to detail. Which brings me to my criticism. That is that the cockpit is mm, flat, to, is one way to put it. Um, it uh, seems to have many of the appropriate gauges that you would expect. However, uh, it just seems to be lacking in texture and while that may not be a big deal for some some folks um personally i when i fly this aircraft in vr uh it, it can it, it does become a drawback you know when you're in virtual reality you like being able to look to the left to the right you like to see that you're inside that cockpit and uh I, you know, I hope the developers, if they get the opportunity, they can maybe uh, add some more detail or just kind of make it look a little more lifelike as opposed to um, its current appearance. With that being said, though, back to positive notes, it's got a good heads up display. And without further ado, let's do a takeoff roll. Um, flaps are at 10 percent, which is required for takeoff. I've got beacon lights, nav lights, strobe lights on. And uh, let's get this baby rolling. So, so rotation speed's one twenty. Yep. 
There we go. The uh, yoke is a little sensitive. All right, flaps up, gear up, and we don't want to overspeed right out of the gate. But as you can see there, my engine's at about 50% throttle, and we want to execute a nice climb. We are just now at 1,000. Yeah. 10 forward of that. Cherry Point Tower 73, WTF 027, frequency change. Uh, the handling of this aircraft is very nice. When, when you put it into a bank, it's a very smooth roll. Uh, you know, just wonderful, um, wonderful feel of the aircraft. You, you, you can also notice there. Thank you. You also. So, um, you can also tell the artificial horizon, which is in the top right there of my instrument panel, is very, very accurate. I also have a GPS, which is helpful. And I have the readouts for my um, my engine so if I drop them down you see it see what it says fan one fan two it goes down and then if I bring it back up you see that it goes back up and if you get into that red arc there uh, that is when the afterburners kick in so I'm gonna I'm going to give you guys a little demonstration of the afterburners here in just a few moments. Well, I have to apologize. Uh, you were not able to see the afterburners. In a night flight, it's much, much easier to see. And uh, according to my earlier documentation, I went above the service ceiling of the aircraft. So now we're just going to start a nice, gentle descent. And uh, yeah, we'll get back down to a reasonable altitude. So my airspeed's looking good. Uh, the aircraft doesn't handle very 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 well um, and seems to be pretty pretty accurate in terms of the way one would expect it it to handle um, I will have some links in the document I have some links in the description below for some documentation that I was able to find however it's important to note that this is obviously a current military aircraft Therefore, a lot of the information I'm sure is classified, and therefore it's somewhat sparse to come by. And you can see to our left, left here is uh, Cherry Point. And uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just form a little bank. Yeah, it doesn't look like I need to request any clearance, so. And I apologize for the people that I'm flying a little over. I just want to quickly see if I can check the stall speed. All right, so my stall speed is uh, 106 knots and my landing speed is 138. Okay. This uh, aircraft does have autopilot, so you can see AP for autopilot, altitude, uh, hold, heading, hold, ver vertical speed hold, which I uh, don't ever really recommend using that. And uh, I have 
use these some, but not enough to be able to give you a good review. So, now I need to bleed off my airspeed. So, I'm just going to go nose up until I can get that down to where I want it to be. There we go. That should be good for flaps. So, I'm going to go ahead and put two notches of flaps in. That'll get me into slow flight. And as you can see, I'm needing a little speed. We go ahead and put that last notch of flaps in. We're going to throttle back down. And gears down. Little bit of a bounce there, but now we'll apply brakes and we brought it to a stop. Awesome. Well, Flight Sim Crew, that is a brief rundown of the F-22 Raptor model in Flight Simulator. Uh, is it worth the money for me? Yes. Uh, I do enjoy flying it. It's a very, very fun aircraft to just have some fun in when you're not wanting to be you know, serious, when you want to enjoy Flight Simulator as a game and not as, as a uh, simulator. And... Uh, it's got you know a couple couple things that I'm not too thrilled about. I, I hope that you know they can make some improvements. And a few other things like lack of checklists, you know, would be helpful. But all in all, I, I would definitely rate this as a, a reasonable, you know, aircraft. I would probably give it a, you know, 6.5, maybe a 7 uh, um, out of it. It does have one glitch that didn't occur where sometimes when the aircraft spawns in, uh, it, uh, it acts like it's uh, too heavy on the back. And so your nose gear just lifts up. And that can be rather annoying. Um, this only occurs when I make modifications to the onboard fuel prior to flight. When I just leave it at the um, standard amount, uh, the problem doesn't seem to happen. So it's worth noting because you know if you're if you're a perfectionist or if you're like me and you plan on doing a long flight and you want to have enough fuel on board, that can be uh, a bit of a deal breaker there. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this rundown of the F-22 Raptor. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you can find the uh, pilot, pilot uh, operating um, handbook, uh, please link that in the uh, description below. Uh, or if there's um, any, any um, former or, or current um, fighter pilots that would like to critique uh, my analysis or just want to add anything that you know, perhaps I missed, uh, feel free to do so. As always, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. If you want to see more of this type of content, then give it a subscribe. This is Ryan, signing out.